Hey guys and welcome back to Mafia. I cannot tell you how excited I am to get back in this, get back to Tommy and see what's going to happen next. That last episode, the last mission was so exciting with robbing the bank. Paulie has all the money. I trust him. I think he's going to be fine for it. But I really do hope that they're is a way out for these guys and they can just go on to doing what they want to do yes they've had to do some bad things in the meantime but deep down they're all good guys and i just want a real happy story and a happy outcome for them so i'm really really hopeful i'm going into this so hopefully so let's get started with this episode the death of art 1938 well, Sarah. look at this. Christ has finally risen. I was getting ready to call the coroner. <laughs> Sorry. Had a bit of trouble falling asleep this off. Me too. Thanks to you tossing and turning all night. <laughs> okay, what you do? <laughs> Just feeling lucky is all. Aw. Got that right, champ. I love these guys. But I've been thinking. Oh, yeah? I'll call the papers. <laughs> I've been thinking about taking you and a kid out to the shore. Beautiful. You serious? Ain't you working? Uh, Polly and me, we've come into some money. Huh. One of his cracked angles finally pay off? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Pack a few bags. I'll swing by after I go around to Polly's. What ain't you telling me, Tommy? Nothing. Sure, you and Polly are suddenly flush, and now you want to leave town for a few days? That don't square. Hmm. Well, what's the point of making a buck if we can't spend it? That ain't it. Hmm. You're moving, even when you're standing still. Yeah, you're nervous about something. Polly, you don't even know why yet. But well, it must be it. You better figure it out before you get to Polly's. Just in case it's him that got you all wound up. <laughs> Polly's all right. Don't worry about it. Well, I guess I'll see you soon. Oh, my goodness. It would be so hard to be in Sarah's position to say goodbye to your husband and really not know if he's ever going to return no we get to look around the house oh my goodness yes you still here yeah of course i'm looking at my our, our beautiful home oh that's his old taxi record driver's number oh that's so beautiful before he became a taxi driver tommy worked on a road crew he lived in camps for months at a time building highways through the northern united states tommy eventually tied up the itinerant life and moved back to lost heaven in 1926 using the money he had saved to buy himself a cab tommy oh my god guys this is so so amazing oh Look at them. Three of a kind. Paulie, Sam, Tommy. Oh, look, before I go any further, I do just want to reiterate that Sarah must have the patience of a saint to be with Tommy. And I don't know what's got Tommy so nervous. Surely it's got something to do with the money. The money that Paulie has and he's probably worried if he is going to see any of that money. I don't, I trust Paulie, okay, I trust him. I think everything's going to be okay but their plans like to leave, Tommy's leaving for a few days. He just wants to get out of here. He, he knows that it's not safe. He knows that it's not safe once Don Salieri learns what he and Paulie have done behind his back to get all that money. My gosh. That must be his family. Sicily, 1904. Four-year-old Tommy with his family at the Villari Lemon Grove near the port of Messina. 
Tommy's father was the supervisor at the plantation until it was foreclosed by a moneylender. Evicted from their home and destitute, the Angelos immigrated to America soon afterwards. My goodness. Wow. He looks a bit older than four there, I've got to say. <laughs> oh, aren't they beautiful? These guys are so beautiful together. Man and wife, June 1934. So by this time, they've been married for eight years. Oh, what's that? Is that the boat that his family came over on? Tommy and his family arrived at Empire Bay after a month at sea on Christmas Day 1904. After an inspection by immigration officials, they travelled on to Lost Heaven in a crowded train carriage. Tommy's father found employment at Lost Heaven Harbour, where he worked until his death 15 years later. Wow. Maria Angelo, Marco Angelo, Isabella Angelo, Thomas Angelo. Wow, 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 wow. So he has another brother and sister. I, where are they? <laughs> Am I too nosy? I think I'm so nosy. I just want, I want to know. hanging around, you're going to end up packing bags with me. <laughs> just warning you. I'm just looking, lady. My friend Polly's going to get worried if you don't ship out soon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going, I'm going. I'm just, just still looking. I want to know everything I can about his home. So this is out the back. Bank raid, suspects at large. Bystander photograph shows of officers surrounding the Grand Imperial Bank. The Lost Heaven Police Department are appealing for information relating to a violent robbery that took place yesterday in downtown Lost Heaven. The thieves who left many dead are said to have taken an enormous haul. They remain unidentified and on the loose. Witnesses are encouraged to contact the police in person or by telephone. Okay, well that sort of explains a little bit more why why he's on the run hey that explains that <laughs> that does explain that i don't blame him for for wanting to go all right i've looked around here? yes i'm still here i'm going now what i what i really want to do is to meet tommy's child that's what i really 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 want to do really really i don't know if Will we ever get a chance to do that? Please. That's something that I feel that is sort of missing from this game. Is that ability. Alright, well, that's our home. He has a nice car, this guy. Okay, we're going to go to Paulie's. Off to Paulie's. I think I'll drive this whole way without skipping just because I still do have a lot of thoughts that I can talk over while we're driving oh, look if they get found out that it was them that robbed that bank can you imagine what Salieri is going to do and say to them he will absolutely Look, he'll be so, so angry. So furious. Is Paulie and Tommy's whole plan to just up and leave without even telling Salieri and just flee? I don't know. Surely they have to they have to say something. If they just up and leave and flee, that's not that's not exactly safe either. He will, he will just find them one day. But it, I mean, is it difficult to get away from the mob once you're in it? Can you not really get away? Like, is that why Frank had to go to all that trouble of, of, of what he did to get away? Maybe that explains a lot of things. I mean, I've never been in the mob yet, obviously. Polly. I want to look at Paulie's house. Can I go into Paulie's house too? Oh. 
Hi, ladies. This neighborhood's going to the dogs. <laughs> what happened to your door? Christ only knows. <laughs> well, they seem to think it's kind of funny. Hey, hey, did you hear the ruckus last night? Nah, I've been working nights. Guy in the apartment above me was raising hell. Again. Okay. Are they talking about Paulie? They seem to think it's funny too, though. <laughs> All right. Polly, Polly. Mr. Polly. Hang on. Is he actually still here or is he left, guys? I trust him. What was that noise? Was that just me? Oh, Polly's downstairs. I just went all the way upstairs to get a comic book. Sorry. Gotta get it though. Polly, his door's ajar. Polly! Come on. Ah, Jesus. Huh? That's not Polly, is it? Polly. Slumped over in the hallway, torn a fucking skull. Oh God, I was, I was calling to warn him. About what? Jesus Christ, I owe you fellas my life three times over. Warn him about what, Sam? Salieri, he found out about the bank job. You're in deep shit, Tom. You gotta disappear. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, uh, I just need some cash to get me and the girls out of town. Can you swing that? Sure. Anything, oh. You want me to come to Polly's? No. No, I can't stay here. Uh, meet me at the, the city gallery. Yeah, okay. Keep your head down, Tom. Oh my God. I'll see you soon. And uh, thanks, Sam. I always pay my debts, son. You know that. Come on, I loved Polly. That is so not fair. That is so not fair. I knew that Salieri, if he found out, things would be really bad, but I did not expect that he would just kill them. Just so easily like that. I can't even go in. I just need it. I need a minute. I had this feeling that we probably would lose either Paulie or Sam at some point but I never thought it would have anything to do with Salieri himself I never thought that he would do anything like that I'm gonna call the cops something ain't right no, Someone something Someone said right. it could have been gunshots. Who did you see? Oh, is that funny to you? It's not funny to me. 
Now we have to get out of here. Do you guys know anything? Don't just sit there laughing it up. I'm not happy. I am not happy. If we don't get out of here, like Sam said, I mean, who's done that? It has to be someone that knows poorly. Someone's done that that knows poorly. Absolutely disgusting. And yes, you do have to do what Salieri says. My God, no, look, I am furious right now. I am furious. Salieri was pretty much like a father figure to all these boys. It's like Paulie was his own son and to go and do that, just because Paulie wanted to do something for himself, he wanted to make something of himself. He wanted to get out of this stupid life. I'm so mad. <laughs> So mad right now. Furious. Well, I'll park this stupid car properly in case we have to make a stupid way. I'm really angry. I mean, who's done that? Who actually did that to Paulie? I'll kill them. Don't move, Tommy. Shit. Hey, Tom. Sam. What the hell's going on? You and Polly put me in a bad spot. I know, Sam, but I'm sorry about that, but I need to get out of town. Can you help me or not? There you go again. Making me choose between my friends and the family. This is what you were looking for, Polly's. Here's your cut. It's more than you deserve. Sam. You killed him. You killed Polly. No. Polly got himself killed. You, you seem killed real him. Tore off about it. I'm just in a good mood. Things are right between me and the Don. I'm moving up, and I just found this big bag of money. The Don knows about Frank, Tom. The whore, too. That whore? The girl you were sweet on? You're the one that let her live. Sorry about this, Tom. But our business has rules. Shame, too. Don Salieri really liked you. Guess we'll both have a good cry at your funeral. You think you're doing this because you're loyal, but you're not. You're just scared. Maybe. But you would have lived a lot longer if you would have just looked over your shoulder from time to time. Goodbye. Don't let him suffer, boys. He's my buddy. to him. Oh God, Sam, how could you do that? How could you do that, Sam? I'm disgusted. We were all friends, best friends. Me, you, Paulie. It's disgusting. Absolutely disgusting that he could do this. Where'd you go, Sam? Oh, Sam. 
Business is business, Tom. I know that you, out of all of them, know that. Business is not just business, it's no more, more to life than that. No There's oh, more to it than just that. Where are these stupid guys? When you fuck with the boss, you fuck with us all! You're a good guy, Tom. A real good guy. It's a shame. Honestly, now I un done. I understand. I understand, but it's not right. We can fix this. Sam, you're gonna die. I'm out. Cover me. There's no way that you're gonna be getting away with this. Truly. God. I mean, I don't want to kill Sam, but what choice do I have? He shouldn't have done what he what he did. Disgusting doing that. Absolutely disgusting. Poorly of all people. You do the same. Oh my god. Don't eat alone. It's one of the only rules we got. I get that. I get it. But jeez, can't you just let this go? I'm so distressed. I'm so distressed. Take all of these out. Take all of these out here. Whoa. Whoa. No time to admire the artwork. Molotovs. Nice. I just have to... I've got to go and get some health. I've got a tear that is annoying me dripping down my face. <laughs> Absolutely disgusted. Sam. I never... I never saw this coming, but perhaps that was my own, that was my own fault for just, for just trusting too much. I did see, like last time when the Don talked to Sam about his plans about the diamonds and, and the, the cigars and stuff, like he only let Sam in on it, which I thought was a bit strange. But yeah, so he Sam sees himself as someone that is moving up. He looks like all hell. Do not. You do. You're dying today. You are all dying today. Don't think so. Yikes. Gosh, I need health. There's no health. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a lot of blood here at the moment. I'm running out of bullets too. Oh gosh. I cannot believe what's happened. Absolutely disgusted. <laughs> That's all I can say. It's just I'm disgusted in everything. This is our boys. Damn it! I'm gonna die here. <gasps> no, no! I ran out of bullets. Guys, I gotta clean my face. It's tears. I can't see where I'm shooting. That's my excuse. Okay. That should be better. I can see now. <sighs> I mean, I'd have to assume that all these guys that's attacking us here, 
They know Tommy. They're just doing what the boss said. I know that. It's still full on disgusting. I'll get you. I'll get you, Sam, even though I don't want to. Because I'm, I'm, I'm a sucker. Where are you? How can you even shoot at me through there? Whoa. Ah, you burnt your own stupid self. Oh my goodness. Get some help. I think this is, yeah, this is where we got up to last time anyway. Oh, I see your stupid little face. I'm gonna die again. <laughs> Guys, this is not very easy. It's not an easy game <laughs> for me. Just wait for my health to pick up just a touch. There you are. There's another guy over there somewhere. Shut up. What the hell? Whoa. No, no, please. No, please. I'm doing all this on minimal health, which is kind of cool. Take it cover. If not a little bit difficult. There's more. Whoa. Hey, give me some cover. You gotta burn. Oh, there's a ton of guys in there. <gasps> oh gosh. Get a better shot. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Only a couple more guys in there. <gasps> so good. Gotta reload. You gotta burn. Take it cover. Whoa. There. Got him, no. got him, got him, got him. Do you have any other guys in there? Oh my goodness. Where is he? Oh gosh. Where are you? Say Where, are you? Night, punk. Where are you? Where are you? Oh there you Get are. Get a better shot! Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Any health nearby, please? Struggling. You still have respect for the dog. You'd swallow this down. Cats! Fuck you, Sam! Oh my God. I know you do the same, Tom. Hell, I know you've done the same. He wouldn't do that to his friends. He wouldn't. This is getting serious, boy. Take him out. 
Whoa, I can't believe what Sam has done and what Sam is doing. Disgusting. Over here. Where are they? Where are they? Can I get out of here through the window? I just want to leave. Oh God. Running out of guys yet. Man. Where are they? Where are they? Celieri was ripping us off. Ripping you off, maybe. Me? <gasps> I play these things smart. <laughs> Oh God! Look at all the blood. You're in my sights. Oh God! This is crazy. Like, what on earth is Sam even firing at us? It's like rocket launches, or something. Sam, please. So close, so close. Man, they really want me to struggle here, don't they? They want me to struggle. There he is around the corner. Got him, got him, got him. You're an insult to the family. Come around the corner and tell me that. Tell that to my face. Oh. <gasps> Yikes. Fine, Sam. I think we're up to the last little bit here, aren't we? Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> no! Oh. A lucky shot, Tom. But the thing about drug money is it pays for a lot of muscle. Mm. Put them down, boys. Nope. Come on, Tommy. You don't do this. You're not dying here today. That's just two? Are you kidding? That's that's what you think is going to take me out? It's two of them? You're going to need a lot more than that. You need a lot more than that. Oh, hi. Cannot believe this. Alright, let's go this way. Disgusting. <laughs> Look at all the blood on the wall. Like, who's. Is that Sam's blood? That's Sam's blood. We've shot him up pretty good. We've shot him pretty good. Tired of this life, huh? I've seen it growing you for years. Now, there's only one way out. And I'm the guy that gets to give it to you. Mm -mm. Whoa. Oh. Actually, not a bad, not a bad death scene there. <laughs> but let's let's do that again. All right, here we go. Tired of this life, Tom. I know that. I've seen it grow in you for years. Yep. Now there's only one way it's out. It's true. Watch out for those grenades he's throwing. Sam. That's it. Nobody's carrying you to the doctor this time, Sam. You kill me now in the dawn. She's never gonna stop looking for you. But you let me live. I'll tell Salieri you're dead. Nope. You can disappear. Just like Frank. Nope. Only you'll be smart enough to stay gone. Right? Don't do it, Tommy. What happened to him? He was hiding out in Europe. <laughs> what a dumb bastard. He started betting at the dog track. Got spotted by a friend of the family. So Salieri, he 
son out of crew. And his family. That little voice in the back of your head. Maybe sounds like your baby girl, or Sarah. Always telling you not to pull that trigger. And you can't make up your mind. It's getting easier every time you open your fucking mouth. It is. <laughs> Come on, sure had me. some laughs, right? Remember that time? Me, you. Polly, don't you say his name? Come on, Tommy. Good boy, Tommy. Thank you. You don't get to sit there and reminisce about me, you, and Polly after what you've just done. Sympathize with the situation, Tom, and I want to help your family, but I can't do anything unless you're willing to testify in court. You understand that, right? You'll have to sit in that box, stare down Salieri, Ralphie, Vinny, maybe even Sarah's father. I, I don't know if you got the stones for it, if I'm being honest. I'll do what needs to be done. But you need to get my family new identities and ship them far away from here. Well, hold on. There's a long road between us sitting here bumping gums and Sarah sleeping under new stars. Then I'm sorry I wasted your time. And mine. I gotta get out of town. Look, Tom. I got a family too. Wife. Four boys. All Irish twins. Yeah. So you know I understand what you're going through. All the worrying over them, the fear that one of them's gonna go before you do. With this case, it'll be one of the biggest this city has ever seen. It could drag on for years. I don't know if I can protect you for that long, not the way things are downtown. Everyone's gotta eat, right? Even dirty cops. Just being honest here, I mean, there's a few bodies I can trust downtown, but not many. Mm. And if it comes down to you or me taking a bullet, I'm not gonna make my wife a widow. Keeping you alive in exactly the moral course, but I'll try. That's a pretty good sales job. <laughs> Trying to make me think you got nothing on the line. But this is your whole career right here. However it works out for me, whether I live or die, you get to crack the Morello case and take down a Don. Salieri will be your legacy. Don't go thinking you know me, Tom. Salieri belongs behind bars. I'll help you so long as you help me put him there. That's all this is. Then that has to be enough. getting married a long time ago in another life someone once told me that family is a man's Achilles heel his greatest weakness maybe it was right because everything I've done 
Ralphie. Both good and bad. Oh, Ralphie, no. I've done for my family. I've turned my back on people <gasps> they thought were my friends. I've kept a lot of hard promises. I spent eight years <gasps> totally alone. Oh my god. Trying to find myself. So I could come home. A better husband. A better father. A better man. Now that I'm a lot older, and just a bit wiser, <laughs> I see that family is our greatest weakness, but it's also our greatest strength. It gets us out of bed in the morning. It lets us chase our dreams. Even when they're moving too fast to catch. It keeps us from falling over. When we're too tired to take another step. Who's that? Who's that? Mr. Angelo. Vito. What do you want? Yes. Mr. Salieri sends his regards. <gasps> and go. But family. Family is forever. That, that was gonna happen. That's disgusting. That. Oh, come on. No. No, that is not fair. Come on. I grew to love Tommy so much. The only way that I can think that what's happened is that Salieri organized that while he was in jail. Like, Salieri is still in jail. And he's organized that to happen to Tommy so so many years later that's so sad I thought that we were gonna get this beautiful happy ending I thought that we were gonna get this amazing happy ending everyone is everyone is gonna be good except for Paulie obviously but no they just had to do that right at the very end not happy I'm not happy about that guys I just have to say that I absolutely loved this game. It is a huge 10 out of 10. A huge 10 out of 10 from me. I thought it was fantastic, amazing. The story was riveting. I got so invested in the characters. I loved the characters. Even the little side characters that meant nothing like, like Ralphie. I loved him. <laughs> absolutely. It was just so, so, so good. But the ending, did not expect anything like that to happen. I thought that we were going to get a beautiful ending there at the end. Everyone is happy. Tommy's just living his best life with his family. But yeah, family is forever, like he said. Family is forever. And I love 
that double meaning there. But oh my god, no. That is just so sad. I've got, I've got makeup everywhere all over my tissue. The only thing that I guess is some sort of good thing about that is that Tommy, after he did his eight years in jail, he had a really nice time there with his family afterwards. He lived a, a, a nice long life afterwards, probably a much uh, a beautiful, relaxing, nice life. But how did... Uh, how did they find him at the end? They had a different location, different names. It's probably just like what happened with Frank. Maybe one of them just got sloppy. I don't know. Maybe one of them used their name somewhere or got sloppy or something. Maybe. I don't even know. I don't even know. But that was amazing. A really, really brilliant game. Such a sad and shocking ending. But absolutely adorable adored it thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed i loved it so much please let me know if you do want to see mafia 2 and 3 on the channel i have no idea who's in it i mean obviously it can't be tommy it can't be him in mafia 2 and 3 unless it is no i i don't think it would be but I just absolutely adored it and yeah this is something that I can see myself replaying 100% it was amazing well that's it from me thank you guys so much for watching yeah I'm shocked I'm don't know what to don't know what to think except that I'm shocked and sad and I wanted a happy ending but we didn't really get that so yeah Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you again really soon in the next video. Bye.